Welcome back. Now we'll take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. Uh, so actually, the question today is about, um, the viewer is asking, is uh, working as a police officer uh, haram or not right according to religious practices? And the viewer says, for these reasons, paid by people's taxes, um, they say it's a cross on the arm patch, enforcing laws other than God, may have to arrest Muslims and put them in non-Islamic jails as punishment may have to protect criminals if they are in danger. Is this true? Hmm. Well, the, the, every job comes with some sort of uh, undesirable feature, and it's up to people of conscience to pick the jobs that are more in line with, with their consciences. Um, and when it comes to Islamic uh, following, then uh, naturally, too, we have the religious laws in place, and one does not want to violate any of that. So it's up to individuals to look at their situations and look at the specifics, specifics of the job and ask, you know, are we, are we doing great harm here? Are we contributing to harm? Or are we doing greater good, but it's also accompanied with, by some things which are undesirable. But some of the things which are mentioned in the question are actually uh, not undesirables by themselves. I mean, the fact that uh, your salary will come from government taxes this is not an issue because mm -hmm. uh, governments uh, in modern times have checks and balances on how much taxes they can charge without being oppressive. Uh, and it's, all, it's great mainly for the public good. It's not uh, for feeding into the pockets of uh, uh, the serving rulers in, in modern democracies at least. Uh, they, one cannot uh, get rich on the job. Um, one might actually make more as a business person rather than, or, or sometimes as a, pressure, as a professional uh, speaker after uh, one's presidency yeah. than actually during the term that, that one earns. So it, it's, it's for the public good and uh, one of the public good is to have a police force that will enforce uh, the law and, and prevent crime. Uh, as for the cross on the arm patch, I've never even thought of that. I guess if one looks very closely into some historical uh, emblems of Canada and uh, many other countries one might find you know some traces of Christian origins but uh, one does not need to look so closely or, or if we do notice it there are ways to work to revise this over time but mm -hmm. that one should not use that as an impediment to prevent Muslims from getting into uh, various uh, uh, government uh, bodies because of course we need Muslims in all areas and Muslims to excel in the various areas so that Muslims uh, not only are known uh, for their excellent work habits and their contribution to society, but they, uh, by their very presence, will contribute to change within those uh, establishments over time. Perfect. Thank you very much, Dr. You're Shreer. welcome. Hey, YouTube. We hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.